Good morning guys, welcome to my travel routine vlog. Normally, I don't have this on my face if you guys have been watching or if you're new to my channel, just in case. I got air sculpt on my chin, so I have to wear this 12 hours a day at least, so I will be wearing it most of the video. Anyways, I'm gonna share with you guys my travel routine. We're gonna go through like what's in my carry-on and like what I do and whatever. I definitely have it down to a routine. Very okay, self-tan, subscribe if you're learning here. I'm going to Europe for a week. It's currently 7 a.m. I don't leave until 2, and then I obviously have other things to do before today's flight. Starting off with self-tanning, I barely even have any of this left. did not realize that. This is the Saint-Tropez Express Tan, so I'm going to be able to shower it off in a few hours. Um, I have to go drop off the dogs. Normally, they stay at the dog center. This week, they're staying with family at two separate houses, so that's going to be like two hours of driving. I always make sure my hair is done before flight, which even though this is going to mess it up, I still need a good blow dry, you know? And so I'm going to drive her. Normally, I mean, I don't do this every travel routine, but I am today. All right, let's tan. I've tanned. This is the express one. Don't worry. So I'll be showering this off in a couple hours, drinking my coffee. So like I said, normally the dogs will go to the dog sitter, but since Coco is injured, they're going with family. Also, I needed to mention that I took like the shower just now. Like I did everything. I basically do everything that I can before leaving that's gonna like minimize time when I'm there. So when I get a blowout, my blowouts will last for like a week or at least I got to wash my hair for a week. It's gonna suck with this thing because it's taking out all my volume. Um, I'll have to figure out something. Like for example, I'm getting a blowout today and I won't wash my hair until probably like the last day and that way it's already styled and like ready to go and my hair takes too long to do and I don't want to mess with that you know what I mean and with tanning even though it's winter and it's really not gonna matter I won't be retanning or anything like that like this will be nice for New Year's Eve and then after like whatever so anyways I'm gonna change we're gonna take the dogs off and then we're off to dry bar for a nice blowout oh, my bar fly membership is like my best thing ever I know so Many people hate on dry bar, like on TikTok and stuff, because I love dry bar. You need to like really tell them what you want, and like granted, not every not every blowout I get I love, but like it's better than me doing my own hair. You know what I mean? I think that's why I like it, because I'm so lazy. So I'm putting on a sweat set for the blowout. This one is from Aritzia. The only thing I really need to figure out how to avoid this trip is this from my ponytail when I'm wearing my thing back. Maybe I just won't wear a ponytail like at all because I don't want this like constant crease. I would be smarter to just like have my hair curled all the way through because then it's like less likely to show, but I don't really want that. I might just do a blowout that's like big, big curls, lots of volume straight at the end. So like when I put it back in a hair tie, it's not really gonna matter, you know? And then throughout time it will fall. So that actually might be what I have to do. We're off to run some errands. Wait guys, I actually forgot I ordered one of these sleepy ties. I don't know who I saw post it. Someone that I follow on Instagram. I need to send it to my sister because I think she'd like it. You like sleep in your blowout. I'm gonna have to look through it and figure it out but it keep oh there's a video tutorial but it keeps your blowouts like overnight i think okay i have dropped the dogs off i'm going to stop at merit and get some coffee and then get a blowout my tan is developing i look a little bit crazy i can technically shower it off in like 15 minutes so it's gonna be fine if like my blowout messes it up but having your hair done for a trip is just the best thing ever i have uh like two rows of extensions so it just takes like literally an hour to dry my hair alone we don't have time for that okay so i'm going i brought my kindle got a blowout feeling amazing i went with more of a classic blowout look because i found the sleepy tie we're gonna try our best with that today Hopefully it doesn't ruin it and it actually makes it look better. It looks so good when they do it, but here's the issue. Like when you do the sleepy tie, I think I already vlogged this, right? You have to put it like at the top of your head and I can't do that with my compression gear. I have to put it at like the bottom and the back. So that's why it's gonna be interesting. Okay, I'm back. I've already packed up pretty much all of my stuff. I just have to do like the final 
touches, if you will. I did an entire in-depth packing video, which is my last video, if you guys wanna go check it out. So I always have like just pouches and random things that I need, and I'm realizing now what I need these for. I'm gonna use this pouch as like little random health things, like I'm bringing my Athletic Greens. Not sponsored, I wish. Um, water boy and my hangover pills. So by health, that's what I meant. I don't do hangovers. I literally do anything that I possibly can to just not be hungover. So far, it's a, uh, I wouldn't say it's like a foolproof plan, but okay, well this is like full now. Essentially, I am gonna be prepared for everything. I mean everything, I mean like, Literally just a hangover, actually. Moving over here, we have my carry-on bag. Now, the only inconvenient thing about this is that, like, I can't just open this in the flight, and I'm gonna want, like, my Kindle and stuff. You know what I mean? So, Kindle stays in the puff bag. That's why we're gonna separate this stuff out. Let me know if you guys are even enjoying this video. Like, I don't even know if this is entertaining. It is one of my most viewed videos ever from years ago. So I thought I would give an updated version. I also got this beautiful eye sleep mask. And I also got these sheet masks for on the plane in case we need them. I will never get over this scarf and beanie. Comes out in January. Okay, so I'm gonna put the skincare on the side so it's like easier to access. So I got these things on Amazon just thinking it would like hold it up better on the plane, but I feel like, I don't know how bad I need these. And I feel like it's just gonna be a pain. They're gonna be nice at home. I'll use them at home. Now it is time to gather our chargers. Currently I've had everything charging here for hours. So I have my aura ring charger. I need a USB box. Maybe I'll just grab one at the airport. It'll be an easy $100. iPhone charger, small vlog camera charger. I bring this just so I have it when I'm wearing, oh, when I'm wearing smaller purses. So I'll probably be vlogging on this one as well. And I keep the camera in the case, like the bag with the chargers. Here we go. Okay, so this charger charges both the aura ring and our light that we love for photos. It actually like changes the game. The fact I've never traveled with it before and honestly I, I don't even use it most of the time. You know those things that you just like rediscover and you're obsessed with it for a few months and then you forget about it? That is this. This was sent to me and I cannot remember by a oh, Loom Cube. I don't even think they were the ones who sent this to me. I think it was like a retailer. I'm not sure, but this, I'll let you guys screenshot it. I've tried to link it, but I haven't been able to find it. Um, is the best light ever. This is not a travel hack, but uh, here we go, hold on. Do you see that? Amazing, okay? It's literally, like, actually, I should be using this to film right now. My Kindle charger, of course. I really need a USB port. Oh wait, I have some on my converter chargers. Thanks, I think. And then I already have the iPhone charger. Final big vlog camera charger is downstairs charging another battery. And here are all of my chargers. So that's good. This will go in the carry-on. I obviously have my AirPod Maxes that I will just be wearing and like throwing in my other bag. So we have this. Okay, so in my carry-on, I'm putting my chargers. They don't have like an excessive amount of things. Oh yeah, thank God. So here is like my carry-on purse, which is just my purse. I have an excessive amount of lip glosses in here, which are all in this Sony Clover case, which really, it's honestly unnecessary. Actually, you know what? I don't know, like, do I take it out? Because I feel like I don't need all of them, but like I do, you know what I mean? I'm only gonna bring this Kosas lip gloss, Dior lip glow, and my Laneige overnight lip mask. And I'll just put it in a pocket there. Oh, I cannot forget my password, okay? And a lip liner. Okay, now we're done. Like, I'm not even wearing makeup, but anyways. Okay, so that gives me a little more room. This bag carries so much, though. I have my sunglasses in here, have the pouch, with my journal, Kindle, pen. Um, I am gonna put the sleepy tight in here, even though it's gonna be on my hair once I put my mask in. I, like, I won't even be traveling with it. By the way, I'm going on a trip with two of my best friends, Marissa and Lauren. Marissa, who are meeting there, told me that on her flight to Europe, she took a dream water and apparently it like saved her life and she knocked out on the plane. So I ordered two of those. So I will be doing that and hoping for the best. I have my nice little sleep mask thing. This question everything card deck is like my favorite deck ever. And it's just so fun for dinners and stuff. So I might bring it. There's really not much that I can learn about Lauren left. So I'm gonna put it in here. Cause I also don't wanna like do it on the plane and then not be able to do it on the trip. One more charger. I knew I was missing something. MacBook charger. So, so far the bag is feeling good. AirPods in as well. AirPod Maxes. I never know what to call those. Why couldn't they come out with a different name? They're not like AirPods. You know what I mean? 
My laptop is gonna go right here, which worries me a little bit being on the outside pocket, but that's where it's supposed to go. Now I'm gonna go shower and get into my plain fit. We're very close to being officially done. Okay, I'm wearing a Skims set to the airport. Actually, these sweatpants are from Airy and they are the softest things I've ever worn in my life. Oh no, did I get something on my shirt? Like we're fine, you know? Oh, that does suck. My mind be changing. Anyways, I'm wearing Skims because it's so soft and so comfy. I'm wearing the least flattering gray sweats that I own, but this is like a really lightweight sweat set because I'm going to be wearing like big socks, Uggs, and then a huge coat, which you guys will see because it doesn't fit in my luggage. And so that's just, that's the price I have to pay. I did this to myself, okay? Like this shirt is just so comfy, okay? So I wash off my tan. I'm gonna go in with my skincare. Extra moisturizing, my skin dries out. Um, on flights, this oil is next level. It's my favorite face oil I've ever owned. I'm actually like a full face skincare summer Friday girls girly these days. Like, I'm a huge fan. Next up, the moisturizer. And then I just kind of let that sit in and I eventually put on my sunscreen, which is super cool, obviously. My favorite product ever. Oh my God, and a summer Friday's lip balm, okay. All right, so I put my sunscreen on. I put on a little necklace to look like I, you know, tried a little bit harder than I, and I did it, you know? Packing up all of my skincare and just making sure it is all here. Here we go, another Sony Clover bag. Best thing ever, this goes in my carry-on. My beautiful light goes in here. My ice roller is also gonna go in here. My skincare, freaking pink scarf. A little bit harder than I remember. So I now have everything stacked and ready to go. And last but not least, we have the infamous coat that I will be wearing. This is tough. This is my airport fit. If you guys need a little better view, don't even worry. And then keep in mind, I'm also gonna have to wear the sleepy tie and the compression thing on my face. It's gonna be a look. Here I am. Ready to go. Ordered myself a nice healthy lunch from Flower Child. Okay, so I'm getting some work done before we leave in about an hour. Everything is charged and ready to go, but I'm gonna download some podcast episodes just in case I do have time to listen and I, I really don't wanna have time to listen at all. Um, on the plane, it's really nice. What's that podcast, Something Was Wrong? Um, that podcast is a great travel podcast because they do it in series. So it'll be like eight episodes that tell like one crazy story. Um, and then I'll also just like download my typical ones that I love and have those ready. I also download music. I'll probably get Wi-Fi, honestly. I already have my books downloaded, of course. Right now I'm reading City of Girls, which I'm loving. I downloaded Nightingale by Chris and Hannah because so many people have read it and said it was amazing. A lot of people have recommended it to me and I don't know if it's like quite the book for me, but I would like it to be. So I'm gonna try that. And then I just have like a few other ones. Um, one that Margaret recommended like last week. Speaking of it, she literally just texted me. I also have this travel tag that I got at the Drover, my favorite hotel in the world. And I'm going to put this one on my luggage just so I have it and make sure. I have this whole like checklist, my carry on, Everything is done. Lauren needed beanies, so I'm bringing her beanies. Downloading music and podcasts. I need to finish up YouTube stuff that I have for this upcoming week, and then we're leaving for the airport. But I do need to, soon enough, we'll be doing the compression gear and the twisty tie. I'm like actually scared of what this is gonna be. Apparently this like saves your blowouts when you sleep, and it like curls it itself and stuff. I don't know, people say to do it even like right after you get a blowout, like at night, so that's what I'm doing. It is time. I'm gonna try my best to put on the sleepy tie thing. Okay, so obviously the compression um, gear is not part of my travel routine, but it is right now because of my chin. I could just like not tie my hair in the back. You know what, no, I'm gonna do the sleepy tie thing. So then it's like out of the way. This is gonna be difficult for me to figure out, but it gives me a blowout. You're supposed to do it at the crown of your head, and I, oh, you know what? I actually can do it at the crown of my head. You know what? Okay, I forgot there's like an opening right here. This is gonna be 
perfect. Okay, I have it up and essentially you want to curl it, not curl it, you wanna like wrap it around the brown part like you would a curling iron and pretty tight. Okay, I'm watching a TikTok tutorial on the Sleepy Tie account. I watched a lot of tutorials when I was <laughs> sitting there at Dry Bar. Okay, so, guys, I don't even know if this is gonna wrap her. Oh, oh, wow, wow. Mm hmm So I'm gonna go do this in a mirror, but like that's good compared to what it should have been. I forgot, this is amazing. Like I'm literally gonna sleep with my hair like this every night. I hope it works perfectly. Give me a second. Okay guys, I got it and like I have to fly like this. It looks like I have a beehive on my head. Lauren is going to kill me. Like she's actually gonna murder me because not only am I do I have this like lopsided bun that's the biggest thing you've ever seen in your life, but I also have my compression gear. Super low maintenance, easy going. Oh, sh oh shoot, it's Velcro. Hopefully there's enough room. Oh God, like she's literally gonna kill me. This is how I'm fine today. I'm actually normally not like this. And you know what's the craziest thing about me? Seems like I'm insanely high maintenance and I'm actually probably the lowest maintenance actually. Like it's, it is shocking, you can ask Dom. Right now, maybe not so much. I'm just gonna pretend. Okay, I've decided, I thought about just taking the compression gear off for the time being, no. I'm gonna be at the airport, who cares? I'll have a glass of wine and whatever. Like I need to have this on so I have to wear it less in Europe. Um, even if I have a beehive at the top of my head, it's gonna be okay. You know, it's really extra. This is not my normal routine, to be clear, but it is today. It is today. We haven't even put the fur coat on. Okay, calling the car, getting ready. I'm so excited. This ways. Do you want to take beds? No, because I don't want to. I don't want to put negative energy into the world. I think mine's up to 49.5. Good for you. I'm. I'm praying for the same. My bag was only 53 pounds. It didn't even say anything. Congrats to me. Made it through. I actually really like this hat. Lauren has to get a travel like, neck pillow. I already brought one. She forgot hers. Just testing it out. Yeah, get the foam. Got the water. Okay, to the bar we go. Jalapeno marks. This is how I'm occupying myself as vlogging. <laughs> Lorna took a photo of me, but she came tanned, so she we're equal. We're not equal necessarily, <laughs> but like we're in it together. <laughs> equal is pushing it. And I would like to clarify something I said earlier. I Lauren has pointed out I am in fact high maintenance, but not to other people. I'm high maintenance with myself because I'm lazy and I don't want to like do my own nails and things like that. But as a friend, I'm not high maintenance. No, I agree. Yeah. Like as a person, I would say I'm just not. But like to myself, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Kill me. <laughs> and maintaining my looks? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. And not even just, no, it's actually worse than that. It's not like I'm maintaining my looks. It's in not having to take care of myself. Like I don't want to do that stuff. I'm going to take this drink shot. You're supposed to take it 30 minutes before you want to sleep. But I feel like, how do I open this? There's not like a tear thing. Am I an idiot? Anyways, it's dream water. Gonna take a shot. Flavor of snoozeberry. It's totally fun. Really? Yeah, it tastes fun. Oh shoot. We're boarding soon. Boarding. 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 Are you so excited to sit by me for nine hours? I'm actually really excited for the next week because like you have to hang out with me the whole so time. <laughs> I, I was like packing a card game that's like fun at dinners, you know the card game I like? Yeah. And I was like, I'll put it in the carry-on, I know enough about Lauren. <laughs> Our wine is gone. Oh my god, it's here for you. You guys are around during my 
actually days when I was doing classes there in Los Angeles. Let me know. Most worn items of the year, aside from uh, Pro Bunny Housewife stuff and obviously the Oak Kind, has been Skims. My most worn of the year, everything, every single day I wear something from Skims, whether it's bras, underwears, a pajama. If you look at, I'm recording this in my closet room if you guys are watching on YouTube. My closet, I'm not kidding, just this section alone is half Skims. I, anything they come out with, it, I am obsessed with. There's really very few pieces that I'm not, it's not even that I'm like, oh, it's okay, like I'm obsessed. Like I just love it. It really is that good.